everybody welcome back to my channel it's actually been a while since i last vlogged i feel like we're gonna have to start dating the vlogs so that you can see when about things were filmed because i feel like this is gonna get a little bit confusing i'm actually not sure what the date is anymore i'm losing track uh, i think it's like the 26th of month we're in march since i last saw you we have now officially gone into lockdown i think by the time we're eventually allowed back outside it will have been over a month which is just so weird to think about but yeah today is thursday um i thought i would show you a little bit of what's been going on over the past about five or so days since i last vlogged so much has changed i feel like since then but it's actually not been a very long space of time but one thing that has changed is i moved my bedroom around so i'm going to show you what i've been up to in this vlog and show you what the other bedroom now looks like now that i've rearranged this bedroom around because i now have a whole new project which is mad but yeah feeling good feeling better than i was in my last vlog at the weekend i really really struggled with it in that vlog i haven't watched it yet lauren's just sent it through this morning but i don't know if it'll come across but mother's day had a bit of a meltdown so um yeah it was a hard weekend i think we're all just in a period of adjusting and i'm feeling a lot better now like i feel like i've got kind of this routine down and i'm adjusting so yeah feeling quite good apart from i have really bad period cramps and it's just not ideal it's not ideal so i'm really like shaky so yeah if the vlog is a little bit wibbly that's why that's just not ideal like my womb doesn't understand that i need to work but yeah i think i have a few packages downstairs so i'm gonna go and grab those bring them back up we will go through my bedroom which looks with how i'm standing it looks very much the same as it has always done but it's not and i'm really excited to show you yeah we'll get into that in a minute oh my god my hands are shaking so much but yeah let's go on an exciting adventure downstairs to the post room honestly going to the post room and taking the bins out is like the highlight of my day at the moment it's like wild hello hey hi how you doing all good. How are you adjusting to living with me? Loving living with you. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, he's lying. <laughs> Brian and I have never actually spent this much time together, like, solidly before. It's kind of weird, so it's an adjustment, but we're loving it. Taking the bin out chic. An exciting trip to take the recycling out. <laughs> this is what Ariana Grande must feel like all the time. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. So backstory lauren loves these juices that they do in zz's she's obsessed with them they're called daily dose they're like a cold press juice she keeps mentioning them i think she's just missing being outside going to restaurants like seeing her friends all of that stuff so she keeps mentioning them and <laughs> i know she's gonna edit this so this is so weird like hi i'm talking about you so what i did yesterday was i ordered i saw they do delivery ordered a crate of them to her house. And I also thought I'd do an order for me and Ryan as well. So we've got an immunity package from Daily Dose. This isn't a spawn, I fully paid for this. Fully paid for a whole crate to go to Lauren as well. Hers was even more expensive than mine. She's got more juices than I do. But there's loads of like really nice juices in here. So we're gonna unbox these. And Lauren, I really hope you enjoyed your juices. we basically have a whole selection of these juices in the immunity package so lauren has like six of the strawberry ones her package is a lot more fun than ours and she has i can't remember what else i ordered her like orange juices and apple juices because i know she likes those kind of things but we've got orange juice because i know ryan likes orange juice i like a green juice so we've got this one which has cucumber apple kale lemon and mint i think that one looks disgusting but will actually taste really really nice and then we've got the turmeric shots and then the like lemon and ginger like hot shots. I love these. <laughs> these are like my jam. So I'm really excited to have a few of those. Yeah. We're, we're going to be so... so <laughs> 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 I'm going to literally... Say that. It's been two weeks and we're turning into each other. <laughs> oh no. That is a little juice haul this morning. Are you going to have one? Yeah, I don't know what one I want to have. I might go for an orange, but I'm not sure. You're not going to do a shot? I might do a shot. I was thinking about doing shot, one of shot, each. Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Lemon, ginger, and turmeric. Lemon, ginger, agave. Oh, I, lo I love that. This reminds me of like the pepper ones that we have at Soho Farmhouse. Is it okay, it? Yeah. Oh, love it. This is going to be... I need to not enjoy this because this could become a really expensive habit. Has that definitely not got any like spice in it? <laughs> <laughs> I love these. I'm ready for the day now, I feel instantly like... 
Superman. I'm excited to try the orange juice. And I'm not normally an orange juice person. This could change my life. It won't, but it could. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Love you. Bye. <laughs> and I've arrived at work. Ryan and I basically like kind of making sure we don't work next to each other because otherwise it gets a bit weird if we're just like sitting on each other all day. But yeah, that was my little juice haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Lauren, I hope you enjoyed receiving that. I know she's missing her friends and like just being with all of us and I really miss her so I just wanted to do something to put a little smile on her face and then also got a bit carried away and ordered myself some juices as well because why not I'm gonna get dressed in a minute properly so I'm not just like in a bra and cardigan for anyone that's wondering yes I did take the bins out like this and no no one was around because I actually think a lot of people have left this building to like actually go like basically a lot of people live here kind of temporarily as like students or to commute so I think a lot of people have like left to go to like a bigger home or something like that so like their family home and stuff because there is like no one here it is like a ghost town and to be honest i don't really blame them because everything in these flats is broken like i now at around 5 p.m every day that's when this bedroom gets like the most light and a tiny crack of sunlight like actual direct sunlight and i just like hang out the window because that's the only sunlight that i'm really getting because i can't sit out on my balcony balcony door still broken not being repaired literally what a time for everything to break I can't even it's so ridiculous but yeah anyway I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna show you my bedroom changes Ryan also said to me whilst we were taking the bins out he was like we need to sort out this other room because it looks crazy and I was like yeah it's on my list okay so I'm gonna give you a little tour of my rearranged bedroom we have an ASOS parcel here first you will see why in a second because I've just taken something out but anyway as we come in, I've just got a bag here. I just love having this bag around. It makes me really happy. We have a new bedside table. I say we, because me and Ryan live here now. So we have a new bedside table. This is actually, we've got different ones on each side because I need to order a second one of this. I always thought this might happen at some point in my interior life because I always had two green ones of this and then one white one for, where did I used to keep it? I think it was in my living room. And I always thought that one day I might switch and have the white one in the bedroom and I've finally decided that it's time. So yeah, I've switched that out. The other side is still green, but that will only be temporary. So on the top of this, I have a vase from H&M, these gorgeous dried flowers, which I get from Guns Florist in Brighton. I've got just a little Starbucks metal reusable bottle this Dior makeup pouch, which actually is housing all of my like paracetamols and like pills and things like that. I've got my little shot there, a couple of techie bits, hairband, you know, the usual. Annoyingly, we have a plug up here, so that's currently just not looking cute, but my laptop needs to be charged. My bed is from made.com. Lots of you will have seen this before. We have the elephant in the room or the stitch in the room, which is over there. I have like a corner of stuffed animals because I'm an absolute child. So I'm trying to keep the shot grown up. So stitch will just stay over there. So yeah, we have my made.com bed, which I was talking about in my last video and I'm still unsure. Obviously that video hasn't gone live yet. So I haven't got your feedback on what to do, but I might switch this out for a larger version of this bed or get a new one, but I really do love this bed. It works really beautifully with my new bedding from Dusk. All of this bedding is from Dusk, including the pillows now. I think I showed you in the video, but the pillows just arrived separately. So the whole bedding set is from Dusk now and I'm super, super happy. I love it so much. Over the other side of the bed, we have my green bedside table, which like I said, I'll be switching out. It has my lamp on it. This is like a really warm lamp. It's gorgeous. Let me see if I can show you. So yes, it gives this beautiful glow. I love it so much. It gives this room such a lovely vibe at night. And this bulb has lasted me for so long. I think I've had it for about three years, maybe even longer so yeah really really happy with that we've got a star like nightlight basically does a galaxy sky on the ceiling ryan's books and other bits uh my stuffed animal corner which <laughs> moving on we then have a basket that's got a few bits in it a couple of my like childhood like toys and stuff like that i've then moved my zara home chair into the corner basically this used to be there with lots of different stuff on it i feel like in an ideal world there would be like a bit of artwork here and then a wall light here or something like that but obviously i'm going to be leaving soon and this is a rented apartment so i'm probably just going to leave it as it is i actually quite like the extra wall space the only thing i think i might do is switch a couple of these bits around um, and play around with the visual heights of things but then we have this shelving unit from west elm which used to be here and it used to have quite a lot more stuff on it i've changed it all around and i'm really happy with the layout of it so annoyingly 
that plug socket is just you know a really inconvenient place to be honest this whole this whole pillar here is inconvenient because ideally my bed would be right here so i'm just kind of making use of the space like both the bedrooms in this flat are really inconvenient shapes but can't complain can't complain i'm very blessed uh to live here it's a very nice flat but yeah we have a few bits on these shelves so we have a chanel book diptyque bayer's candle that frame is from zara home Robert's Radio, that coaster is from HomeSense, Chanel Oil, YSL Libra Fragrance. Where is this mirror from? I feel like that's HomeSense as well. HomeSense or Next? Next. Next. Then we have all of my All Saints fragrances. They actually look beautiful like that. I've never um, kind of laid them out like that before, but I really like it. Sorry, my phone's going mad if you can hear any weird buzzing. Then we also have a stack of books. So we've got Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. We've got Milk and Honey by Rupi Kerr. I think that's how you say it. Um, I've then just got a Net-a-Porte lookbook, weirdly. Oh my God, can you hear that? There's like a rumbling. My neighbours upstairs are actual nightmare we then have sally Fay's um all black everything book which is upside down that's annoying and then we have for the love of white which is the white company book i've then got my byredo fragrances in this little crate which is from h&m home i'm gonna say but i'm not 100 percent little tiny diptyque candle from a christmas set last year i can't remember where this is from that's annoying. I think it might have been Zara Home. Then we have this, which I believe is from Anthropology, but it was a gift from Liv Purvis, I think, for one of my birthdays. Little frame from Zara Home. Some of my fave pics in it. This is from Bright and Pride. I love this picture so much. It's me, Lauren and Brooke. Me and Ryan, me and Vic, me, Carly and Lydia. And then we have me and Lucy up there. And I think that's me and Lydia in the other photo? Yeah, same night. I'm wearing the same outfit. The little uh, photo holder, I believe, is from Oliver Bonas. Random vintage camera, and then this Elemis spa candle. I like to put this on when I want to feel zen. So yeah, that is what is on this wall. I finally kind of like bit the bullet and got rid of the round mirror that was here because basically if there's any movement in the room next door, it like rattles and the mirror was like scratching the wall which obviously it's a rented place so that's not good so i had to move it this mirror is a lot more sturdy so that doesn't happen this is my favorite mirror that i've had for such a long time by the way yes still have the tag in this thought i'd try it on before i uh, started filming this video and uh I haven't taken the tag out yet. But yeah, I love this mirror. I got it from a glassware shop in Brighton. I think it's on Beaconsfield Road. They're kind of tucked a little bit away now behind the building they used to be in, but they used to do some really affordable mirrors. And this one, I walked past a couple of times and I just loved it so much. And I was like, I need to go in there before someone else buys it because I'll be heartbroken if it goes. And I think it was like 160 pounds, which is an actual steal when you see mirrors that are like this style they normally cost you hundreds and obviously it was over 100 pounds but it's huge such amazing quality like the mirror itself like the glass of the mirror is amazing quality like no warping no nothing it's absolutely beautiful so yeah i will never get rid of this i will never ever get rid of it and i love the vibe that it brings to this room it just really softens everything i didn't know how i felt at first about the dark wood and the light but the dark wood actually goes quite well with the zara home chair it's got the same legs so it kind of all ties in yeah and this just adds a little bit of a softness to the room and i really like it we then have my little footstool which i got from amazon but it's actually by ikea i just love ordering stuff off of amazon it's great so yeah it needs a little bit of a tidy up in here like a hoover and stuff but i just love it so much i just feel like it's a much calmer space now it's really nice to work in um i feel like i've just brought all of my favorite bits from the other rooms and just brought them all into one room which is great because i didn't actually feel like i was spending that much time in my wardrobe room there just wasn't anywhere to really like even though the chair that is in here was in there i wouldn't sit in it whereas i will obviously like come in here and sit on my bed and yeah i just feel like i just feel like it didn't really make sense but yeah it's just really nice to have like a fresh space in here and it's been the same for a year and a half and i just felt like it was time for a little bit of a change and to be honest the mirror that was in here was never meant to be in here it was always meant to be in the hallway which is actually where it now is and the other mirror also was going to be somewhere else and it just didn't work where i thought it would so yeah it's nice that i never really knew what i was going to do with this room but this is really nice and i like it a lot but it does mean that the other room looks like this yeah and then we also have two 
chest of drawers in here now so that is going to be my project for later this week you probably won't see that but yeah this room basically has always become a dumping ground but even more so now is just a dumping ground for furniture that i'm kind of like toying with not having anymore so my west elm unit which i think i've said maybe in one of my last videos that i was not happy with i haven't been happy with it since i bought it really but now it's really starting to gripe me i'm toying with getting rid of that so moving it out of my bedroom is like stage one in that process and now i need to like sort my ikea drawers out that are in this room and see if i can offset my things that are in my west elm drawer into my ikea drawer so i think basically my wig drawer is gonna have to <laughs> yeah that's the thing i think my wig drawer is gonna have to go so yeah i just need to sort that and then i've got furniture that i've moved from the living room that has come into here that i need to just like give away to friends lots of people the second they found out i was probably moving this year started like literally dipping things in my flat because basically i don't really sell my furniture i just give it to my friends so lots of people are like oh you're, you might be moving oh great so yeah that'd be nice I like going around their houses and seeing like my stuff like my parents house is full of my stuff which is great because I'm just like oh it looks so great in here because obviously I like all of the things but yeah I need to tidy this up at some point because it's just stressing me out and Ryan has to come in here his wardrobe's in here and it's definitely stressing him out so uh yeah that is gonna be my project but anyway I thought I'd show you properly what I'm wearing right now. I'm just about to cut the tag out of this because I'm happy with it. This is one item that I allowed myself to have out of my ASOS order that arrived this morning. So when we went downstairs to the post stream, we had the juice delivery and then my ASOS order and I allowed myself to have one thing out of it. And it's these gorgeous pyjamas. I will link them in the info box below. I believe I got them in a medium think if they're still in stock i will link them because i know that the stock was a little bit low when i went on there but these are gorgeous they are a little bit staticky at the moment because they're brand new so if they're clinging to my legs weirdly that is why but yeah i really like these and i thought these would be the most appropriate thing to change into whilst i was doing my bedroom tour because this is a vibe it's a vibe but yeah that is it for my bedroom updates just loving it love being in this room now which is so nice because i've always loved being in my living room but not really in any of the other rooms in the house so it's just nice to have another room that I really really enjoy being in and because of the time of year this room is actually getting quite a lot of light in the afternoon in the moment which is amazing because the living room's always got a lot of light kind of like morning and early afternoon but not so much in the evening as because basically I'm kind of like northwest facing which is a really awkward um, direction for your flat to be facing and I, like as with a house you'd kind of have windows at the front and windows at the back in this flat we don't have that I'm very fortunate that I do have more windows than others there are worse flats to be in in this block so I'm very very grateful for the positioning of this one in lots of other ways it does mean that this room is getting sunlight kind of two till sundown which is so nice it's just so nice to be able to move around the flat and get sunlight all the time and be really really happy in this room as well because i haven't really felt like that since i moved in this hasn't been like a space that i truly love it's just basically been a place that i come to sleep it is great for your sleep hygiene i kind of want to call it is that what people call it i feel like that's what they call it it's great for your sleep hygiene and obviously me sitting and working in here at the moment is not ideal but to be honest my neighbors are so awful that i'm not sleeping anyway so yeah my sleep hygiene has gone out the window regardless because honestly i think everyone in this building is like losing their minds right now so i'm just really happy that i like being in this room and it's quite nice to like being in this room even when you're in it and kind of not sleeping because you can't sleep so yeah and the window in here kind of opens like really wide up and basically at the end of the day to get some sunlight and some vitamin d on my face i just stick my head out the window it's really nice but yeah i love this room now so that is my little bedroom update i will show you in a vlog coming up my wardrobe room and my revamped closet space i think it's going to be a bit of a mess if i'm honest because i'm just basically going to be storing a lot of stuff in there until i move and i don't know when that's going to be so <laughs> it's going to be madness i can't even have anyone come like pick the stuff up and take it anywhere so basically that room is going to be a storage room and that's okay yeah very grateful that i have the second room and yeah just loving loving this space now so nice i also just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone like there's been so many positive messages like so so many i can't 
even it's just it makes me smile so much so so many positive messages from so many of you about how much you've been loving my content recently and you've just been enjoying like the normality of it i've had a few comments where people are like you should be talking about like how to handle anxiety and working from home and bits like that but that's not something i feel particularly qualified to talk about which i know might sound silly because people are like you work from home but i actually don't work from home in the sense that we're all working from home now ryan and i have never worked in the same space together and i generally have like Ryan leaves, Lauren comes in and I have a real work-life separation and I don't have that at the moment so this is all very new for me as well and in terms of anxiety I'm really not qualified to give any advice on how to manage it. What I would normally say is movement forward which is particularly difficult at the moment because it's hard to plan things. I'm still trying to do that as much as possible but that's all I really have to offer apart from like obviously speak to a professional who is qualified to advise you on your mental health. Apart from that, I'm really sorry, but I don't feel qualified to kind of comment on the current situation. Though if you want tips on working from home with a partner, Victoria and Alex are obviously way more equipped to talk about that than me, and they have done a video on working from home together. So I would highly recommend watching that because Ryan and I are just kind of trying to figure it out as we go along. So in this instance, I have chosen to remain normal and you know if even if you're not watching youtube at the moment but you pick this up in like six months time hopefully this video won't feel jarring and from that standpoint it's been so lovely to receive so many messages from you guys which is my original point to receive so many messages from you guys saying that you've loved the content and how it's just given you a real break from everything that's going on at the moment especially those of you that work for the nhs like you're doing the best work and there's so many nurses and doctors that have messaged and just been like thank you so much like this is like a breath of fresh air at the end of my working day to just like come and watch something that's completely not about anything that my day-to-day -day life is about and that really does mean so much so thank you so much for your messages it just makes all the difference in a time like this i know we're all just trying to make the most of this at the moment and i actually am really enjoying spending time with ryan at the moment the one thing that i was thinking about yesterday was how our schedules don't normally align ever <laughs> so my busy periods are like retail season so like september through like february even like after christmas after all of that i still am very very busy with work and then over the summer it's more like traveling and stuff like that and things are still very very busy the only month that i have that is always very very quiet is august and that works really well in terms of like it's a month that is very very busy for ryan and throughout like my quieter months when i'm traveling he's normally like doing music related stuff and like promoting things so we don't normally have like even in august like he's still got to work a lot whereas i have like more unstructured working that's my month where i have the option to do that so i can kind of like be very very flexible with my schedule and work from like different countries and it really not have that much of an impact and it's a time when I can take holidays whereas it's a time he can't really take holidays because he's obviously got to be traveling for work the benefit is that I can go with him so very very grateful for that but at the moment it's actually been nice to have downtime in what would have been one of my traveling months at the time of filming this i don't know when this is going to go up but if none of this had happened i would be in india right now so i would have been away and then i think there was a trip to paris the week before and more and more stuff would have got stacked in so we wouldn't get this time together normally so i'm kind of enjoying just like us having time together in a period of the year when we wouldn't normally so yeah it's a little silver lining in amongst a lot of like grey uncertainty but yeah it's really nice to like spend time with him in a way that we wouldn't normally so yeah we haven't gone crazy yet which is great although i think i'm gonna drive myself crazy i've been getting changed like three times a day it's mad this is outfit number two of the day i think i'm gonna pop something on from my zara haul next if you haven't seen that i'll link to it but yeah it's definitely been an adjustment one thing i'm going to have to learn to do in the next three weeks is do my nails so by the time i'm allowed out into the world again i will probably be like a qualified nail technician so hit me up if you want your nails doing in brighton yeah i'm gonna i'm going to attempt to learn to do acrylic nails yeah <laughs> let me know if you want a video on that i'm scared <laughs> But yeah anyway i think that's it for my updates i'm gonna get on with signing off my last vlog which i think you will have seen by now if you haven't i'll link to it i don't know what it's gonna be like i hope it's okay <laughs> there are no reshoots right now but yeah i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> i'll link to it morning everybody i think i have toothpaste around my mouth hmm.
cute welcome back so this vlog's been cut a little bit short because i haven't vlogged in i think it's been 10 days now not 100 but somewhere around that i got very very poorly so the stomach cramps that i was talking about earlier in the vlog not period pains at all i was just kind of trying to convince myself that they were but i actually ended up being poorly for a really long time i'm still not 100 better we don't really know what's wrong we're never really gonna know i'm getting there but not 100 but that's why this vlog got cut a bit short because i just couldn't film anything i was just in so much pain i didn't leave my bed for i think like six or seven days and then finally got to the point where i started to feel more myself like everyone was like talking to me on facetime and stuff and they're like yeah we can tell you're feeling better because you're more like chatty but for a good seven days i was just like an absolute shell of a human being and we don't really know what was wrong but thank you for all of your lovely messages on insta stories and just all the love in general on the vlogs it's been really lovely but yeah i am probably gonna start another vlog because this one is quite long i'm sorry it's not like been like loads going on <laughs> but obviously there's only so much going on at the moment yeah i just thought i'd give you a little life update so that has kind of been what's been going on i've just been very very poorly played a lot of sims a lot of sims but yeah definitely starting to film on myself i did a little gentle workout this morning hence the gym gear feel really good but still really bloated like my stomach is just huge at the moment is anyone else finding that like i just feel like i haven't been eating that much carbs but my stomach is like so bloaty so yeah i'm gonna have a nice like healthy day i'm gonna redo my nails you'll see this in the next vlog because i'm just gonna vlog this afternoon but yeah update because i actually saw a comment which i don't think that person had seen my stories which it happened on the same day but they were like can't wait to see what you're gonna do about your acrylics lol and i was like <laughs> <laughs> doing my own acrylics fortunately i'm one of those people that like i'm very like i always watch what other people are doing when they're like doing treatments or anything like that if i can watch like, i watch my hairdresser cut hair so i can kind of cut wigs in without doing like too bad a job and i watch my nail lady do my nails and i know what she does so basically before we went into lockdown i kind of was like just in case like it's a good thing to have anyway but i'm just gonna buy the full like acrylic nail shebang like i didn't buy a kit because i had to buy everything individually i couldn't find a kit that had everything that i needed or some things were like unnecessary so i bought everything that my nail lady uses on me i don't love this polish it looks amazing without the polish but the polish is a little bit streaky so i'm gonna redo that today but just in case anyone was wondering <laughs> what's going on with the whole acrylic nail situation i don't advise doing it at home because honestly i have to do it hanging out my window because obviously the balcony doors are still broken and they will be probably for the foreseeable future if anyone lives in my building and isn't there but wants to lend me their balcony i'd love you but yeah i have to hang out my window when i do it because it smells so bad and i don't want the dust from like the nail file shavings to like be in the flat so basically just hang out my window and do it but um don't advise doing it at home because i think you can really hurt yourself like i actually nicked a bit of my skin on that nail and it really hurts so don't advise doing it at home but just in case anyone was wondering that is what is going on because i'm about to have to take my hair extensions out soon i think they're due to be taken out end of this month and my hairdresser is not allowed back to work even if we're taken off of lockdown so i'm probably just going to take them out myself i'm about to find out what my real hair is looking like underneath which hopefully fingers crossed is very healthy it's grown so much my little front bits are so long it's great but yeah so i'm gonna be taking those out myself so i just thought you know what this is the one thing that i'm gonna hold on to this and my tan i'm gonna keep doing and obviously my skincare routine and stuff but my hair is the one thing that i get done by a professional that is like i'm not gonna be able to upkeep at home someone did dm me though and they were like oh i bought tapes like the sticky tapes and i've just redone them and i was like oh my god genius but i'm gonna let my hair be but the nails the nails are staying so yeah i'm gonna redo those this afternoon a few other bits so i'll catch up with you in the next vlog i guess but i hope you all enjoyed seeing my new bedroom i've spent a lot of time in it i'm so glad that i redid it because i spent literally like seven days in this very comfy bed it was i mean great timing if nothing else like positives great timing watched so much keeping up with the kardashians so great and season 18 has obviously just come out and it was dramatic let's just say that so if you haven't seen it you definitely should watch it so yeah that and playing sims and watching friends has been my life we got netflix back if anyone's wondering because i can't be without it right now so ryan got netflix yeah, very 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 happy about that yeah i'm gonna leave this vlog here next one i promise there'll be a lot more going on so i'm gonna vlog my day today and i'm doing quite a few bits like cooking and stuff like that so very excited to bring you along for that but thank you so much for watching this video let me know if there's any video requests that you would like to see like what i eat in a day's workouts that kind of thing but yeah i hope you're all having the best day and you're all really well and i will see you guys again very very soon bye